What is going on guys? We are back with another video in the Legacy Cowboys franchise or Cowboys Legacy franchise. It is week 10 because we had a force win against the Giants last week and uh, we are now 5-3. and three. We have uh, the Eagles after this Bengals matchup which is another tough one but of course these are the stats from that game against the Giants. Of course it was a sim so had no uh, part in them. Really not happy with the stats. I think we honestly would have come up with better but it is what it is. A win is nice. And we did not get a player of the week, but we do see that Andrew Luck did, and that's our opponent. You look at the stat line, very similar. The turnover differential is the big difference in the conversion percentage. So what we're seeing is that he gets a lot of possessions, but he doesn't always make the best uh, opportunities out of them, and hopefully that's what we'll get out of this. Why didn't we throw it a right bumper? I'll never know. Maybe it's because we see Ty Montgomery wide open down the sideline. Uh, well, not really wide. It was a pretty damn good throw. Play action, great block pickup by Eif uh, Elliott. And speaking of Eifert, great catch in traffic. I mean, I don't even know how we got that throw in there. First and 10 for the 33-yard line. Right in there, another dart. Risky as hell, but they're working out. They're paying off after a sack. It is now third and 17. We're going to go with the uh, get closer for the field goal trick. And we get about, I don't know, six yards. Does make it easier as we do hit our field goal. Third and 10 on defense. A chance to get off the field early. Make uh, another score happen on offense to the outside. And Byron Jones does not make the play, even though he should. And someone made a great comment. I don't remember who it was, but someone said I should trade or go for a new cornerback. Oh, God. It's ironic because it fits right into what I'm about to say. But we should get a new cornerback or two because we have great overall corners, but they don't perform that way. Third and a great conversion to Eifert. Third and 20 now. Where are we going to go with this? And we're going to look. And we're going to find Ty Montgomery wide open. But, yeah, I honestly agree with that. And, you know, guys like Byron Jones are getting a little older. So, I don't know. We might look. And uh, Eifert, we find an uh, Eifert. I keep calling Elliot Eifert. I don't know why. Elliot finds a nice lane inside. Nice nine-yard gain. Second and one. There goes Elliot again. Wide open on the outside. Nice little cut move. Down off of the fighting and the spinning. Down to the 16. After a couple of runs. Down to the three. Now third and goal. Looking for someone open, and we find him, Ty. The patience from Dak uh, Prescott there to find Ty Montgomery was amazing. I really thought we were going to come away with only three again. Luckily, it was seven. Second and three, run to the outside, and uh-oh. Penny has room. We get blocked with Killebrew. Makes a cut inside, and he gains a huge one there. Down on the 42-yard line. First down yet again. Luck taken off instantaneously, hurtling. He gets popped by two players. Byron Jones pretty much helmet to helmets him there. Third and two now. We got a chance to get off the field. <sighs> what a move. Maybe worse than off the field because John Ross just put the works, the moves on one of our cornerbacks for a score. First and ten had Y open. I don't know why we didn't take it. Maybe it's because we had a lot of room. Dak finding Crawford, who breaks free. Crawford, he's got a little bit of speed, and he's gone. Crawford really doesn't have the greatest overall speed, though, because of his Excel. But he has, like, 91, 92 speed, so he's he's got moves. And there, that's my fault with the coverage. I believe I was supposed to cover him with Killebrew. Makes a spin on us. Nothing I could really do there, but he's getting a lot of yards. It's been a real big seesaw battle so far, and I just break my ankles in the end zone giving up another score however John Ross is out for the game and that's a huge factor we'll see how that you know affects this game second and 20 a nice play down to the sideline with Crawford third and inches now what do we do here he's got to be coming with the house is he he is but everyone's covered and I don't know if we would have got it to tie because he was there for the user but either way his forced punt and luck is looking for someone open and how was that not picked by Jordan Lewis? I switched off the user because he didn't go for the pick. The whole thing was just messed up, and it's so annoying. Uh, by the way, uh, that was a third and ten uh, failed conversion, but Andrew Luck was injured. We'll see how long it's for. Third and 14. What a throw to Ty Montgomery. Great throw, but an even better possession catch. Went with the aggressive anyways in coverage. An amazing play made, and uh, that's a nice first down and third down. Third and six. Two seconds, one second, any longer, and that would have been no go. Could have went for the touchdown, but we got smart. We got our three points. Hopefully, we don't lose by one. Hopefully, we don't. And nice try on the spin with a Randall Cobb, but he does not get it. It is third and three now. Can we make the stop? He's going to look underneath, and he's going to find him. 
Randall Cobb trying to spin, trying to cut, do whatever it takes. And uh, Luck is still out. So I don't know how long he's going to be out for, but hopefully it doesn't affect him, or it hopefully does. Uh, and there should have probably been picked by Wouzier, but it wasn't. Third and nine, six minutes in the third. We're down by one. We need a stop. And the rookie, Westbrook, gets that stop for us. And it's going to be a punt right to Reese. And there's not a lot of hang time on this. And Reese has a little bit of blocking to the right. We only see two men to beat. Reese is so quick. He makes a little wiggle, and he's gone. That is a punt return touchdown, and we have regained the lead. I don't even know if regain is the proper word. I don't know if we've ever had the lead this game. No, I think we had three-point lead early, two-point conversion, and Crawford cannot get the catch because that corner jumped it. So with a five-point lead, five minutes left in the third, anything can happen. You guys will see the... Score turned quickly, and this is the play that I was thinking about earlier where I messed the coverage with uh, Killebrew manned up. Maybe the other one was too. I don't know. First and 10, we get ran over. We get ran over again, and we bring him down finally. He's literally one player away from breaking that free. Third and three from the 28, three minutes left. Andrew Luck to the outside, and he misses the throw to Cobb, and he will kick the field goal. So we're up by two. First and 10, Elliott looking for room, and he gets it. One man to beat. Really haven't broken one free with Elliott in a while. Here he thinks it's a run, and we get him off guard to Ty Montgomery on the curl to the 37-yard line now, second and two. Going to run this thing. Jack Theo, the big man with the lead block. Easy for us now for Pumphrey. 31-yard line after a short loss on the ground, second and 14. Looking for anyone open. Probably should have thrown an Eifer. We're going risky with Reese. And that could have been caught. I mean, Reese has like 99 everything. Third and 14 now, though. Need to convert. Taking one to Crawford. Sometimes I forget he's 6'5", and of course he doesn't bring it down, but he's a big man with good catching, so we do need to take more shots with him when we get that chance or when we're even just in trouble and we have to. Great throw to the running back, I believe, there. Actually, that might be the tight end. I don't even know. Uh, surprised we didn't get a, at least a chance to knock that out, but we didn't. Second and 14. Looking left, and the DT, I believe. No, it's DeMarcus Lawrence somehow shedding over to that side, getting the stop inside, and third and 19. Huge play by Wuzier. Wish he would come up with a pick on one of these soon, though. First and 10, play action, and we get caught off guard by the insta-heat. L. James, I don't know if it's Lance James. Third and 17, Dak looking deep to Reese. And it is not caught, almost intercepted. Luckily, it wasn't. We're still only up by five. First and 10 from the 21, and there's the pressure for me. Usering with Jefferson. I saw the lane, and I took it. Second and 16 after the user sack. Luck has all the time in the world to throw, and there he is. He's going to find his man down the field for 30. Third and 13, come on. We need the pressure. It's only three-man rush. We got some coverage, or do we, because he's wide open on the outside. Another first down. Under three minutes left. We need to make a play happen. And there's another potential pick dropped by Jimmy Smith. Third and seven. Somebody get the ball away from them. And there, he's short. It's going to be a fourth and two play. Come on, defense. You've been so close all game. Get the stop. And there's the bait with Shazier. Got the user pick. Shazier's not done, though. Looking outside. Not a lot of room, but he's gone. The speedy linebacker, the best user in Madden. Rest in peace, my man. Gets the pick six. Not to close the game because it's not over, but to put a pretty big statement onto the game. And inside, he finds him open. I mean, he has all three timeouts. If he didn't, I would call it there. But three timeouts is a lot of timeouts. <laughs> Crazy or not. First and ten. Inside finds a man open, gets popped, but does not fumble. Under a minute and a half left in the game. Luck looking deep. And Awuzie once again getting beat, and that's a touchdown. It's not over yet. Onside kick. Even if he doesn't get it, it's three timeouts. Does he get it? No. Can he hit stick us? Thankfully he didn't. Could have been called for a face mask there. First and ten from the 35. Thir and oh, look at Zeke. Fighting. That's a good eight yards on the first play. Almost nine after a short run loss. It's third and four. Game on the line. And Jack Theo breaks one. Running a man over into the end zone. Or is he going to play it smart? He will. Brian Westbrook that thing. And we win. It was such a close game. 
losing Luck and losing uh, John Ross were huge for him. I think Luck, if he came back, was very late in the game. And uh, sadly for him, that's a loss. We go on to 6-3. and three. He moves the 5-4. and four. Uh, AFC, I think, a little bit weaker. No, actually, I think this year is the one where the NFC is finally a little bit weaker and record-wise than the AFC. So it might actually be tough for him to make the playoffs. Who knows? But at least we've turned it around. At one point, I think we were what? Were we 2-3 and three at one point? I think we were. I know we were at least 3-3 three and three at one point, so this is a big turnaround. And obviously, you guys know we weren't just going to throw the season away. It was never over until it's over. But hey, we still got to win some games. I think we're 6-3, and three, and I think we're tied into the wild card spot. I don't know. Either 6-3 and three or 7-3, and three, one of the two. Still fighting for a playoff spot, not guaranteed. Look at the stat line, and it was very close. Honestly, you could say that he probably could have won that. But luckily, the turnovers, the stops, all that good stuff was enough to get it done. Uh, really, the bend-don't-break defense is what saved us. So I'm happy for the win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, as usual. And hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!